Hello, today I'm going to show you how I mended a pair of bib overalls and my goodness did they need mending. So I had a co-worker come up to me. I work at a school with kids with special needs and we have to have a lot of spare clothing for our students because yeah, stuff happens. So she had these bib overalls for one of our transition kids and they're 18 to 21. Well, 19, 20, and 21 are the transition kids at our building. So they're full grown men. <laughs> so she had these pair of bib overalls that her student ripped that were spare and she didn't want to spend the money buying another pair. And you can't exactly get size 54, 32 at Goodwill. So <laughs> she's like, Sherry, 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 please, please help me. Can you fix these? So I was like, yeah, I can. It's not going to be pretty, but I can do it. So as you can see in the photo, he ripped them all the way pretty much from the belly button, almost clear down to the ankle. So this is what I did. I got, I uh, took a pair of jeans that I didn't want anymore that I had worn out, just about hole in the bottom of mine. So bingo, extra jean fabric. And I took some Wonder Under, which is a fusible web with like a paper backing. So you put the web down, paper on top, and then you can iron that. You get it really hot. If you buy it at the fabric store, it should come with instructions, like ex specifically what temperature your iron should be at, how long you should hold it. They just make it up. So anyway, get that fused on there really good, and it's stuck down really good. And then you can cut out the shape that you want after you fuse it on. So I cut the fusible web the shape I want and then I fuse it to the fabric and then I cut it out again and that way you don't um, risk getting any of that webbing stuck to your iron. So there's my strips cut out. I want some long skinny strips. Uh, I think I did three inch. Probably should have done narrower. That was too wide but eh, it's working. And then you want to trim the fringe off of the fabric. You want a nice clean edge as you're fusing this on. So you want to get rid of all those loose uh, threads. Get those out of there. All right, and then you're going to pin that. As you notice, I have it so I can see the hole because I want those edges lined up. I want them flat. And I've got it pinned. Try to put my pins far enough apart that I could iron in between. Underestimate how wide my iron was and I might have flattened a few pin heads, but Anyway, so fuse that, following the manufacturer's instructions, of course, every time, and then flip it over and fuse it again, especially when you have a seam, you want to go kind of on the left of the seam to the right of the seam and just really work in that crack. Make sure you get that fused in good. And then I'm going to stitch it, and I'm going to, if you don't know where the reverse is on your machine, you're going to learn, and you're going to learn how to use that, because you want to stuff all of that bulk under your arm and then as you're sewing back and forth you're going to pull it gently to the left as you sew and then you get this kind of a giant zigzaggy effect. So the wonder under glue I have found that after a million washings starts to come undone. So now the stitches are going to hold that through a million washings. The glue holds it in place so I can stitch it and the stitches hold it in place for when the glue wears out. So anyway just zigzag that up and down all the way while gently pulling on it. I first started so you had to pull to the right. Well that doesn't work. You want to pull it to the left. And there you go. They are all patched. They are wearable in a pinch. And here he is kicked back in the gym living his best life. I wish you could see the, the grin on his face and his scruffy little beard. So anyway there's the latest and greatest uh, project. Some mending. I think mending is becoming a lost art, so this is how you mend some well-worn bibs. And also, I think this picture explains how he splits his jeans so bad, because if he likes to lay like that, <laughs> that's a lot of stress on that area. So now I know what he's doing to these pants. So anyway, you have a great day, and stay creative and keep sewing.